Okay, these are pony bead pizza swaps. And there are two different ways that I've made them and two variations of how to go about it. So this is a six row pizza. It's made with a Chanel stem, which is the perfect length for no snippage at the end. We did it all with the six row pizza. And you just string them on in this pattern. I prefer starting with the crust. For daisies and brownies, that may be difficult. But starting with the crust is important. You have to make sure that it's centered, and that's why it's difficult for them. It's easier for them to center just the tip of the pizza at first. So if you do do it the other way, and you start at the tip, which is what these on the top row are, if you start on the tip and you work your way down, then somewhere in the middle of the crust, you're going to have to twist the Chanel stem together and tuck it in. If you do it the other way, where you're working from the crust all the way to the tip, then you tw twist the Chanel stem on the side and tuck it in. Either way, it still attaches it and it's just fine. You don't even need glue for this. Now, if that's not cool with you because it's just, you know, barely holding together, there's this swap, which is perfect for daisies and brownies because it doesn't matter. It just doesn't matter if it's all the way in the, you know, in the middle or not because Either way you do it, see I work from the crust to the tip in this one. Either way you do it, you still have loads left over. So that's better for daisies and brownies. And it's just a five row instead of six. So the difference in the pizza cup size, it's negligible. It really is. So if you've got white, yellow, and red beads and you're doing Italy for thinking day, congratulations, here's your simple swap. And it's really cheap. Have a good day.